Hey guys, check it out. Yep, it's the brand new Defender, the much anticipated vehicle that I was actually supposed to drive earlier this year at Land Rover's off-road course in the UK, but because of COVID, I didn't get to go. So thanks to our friends at Flatirons Land Rover here in Broomfield, I actually get to take this vehicle off-road today, and we're gonna do a really cool video. We're gonna compare it to our long-term LR3, but we know that that's not a direct comparison. So, in this behind the scenes video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what we actually did here. And for that, I need our man, Tommy, because you just got done filming a really cool video. Yeah, check this out. This is a 95 Defender, one of the few North American imports <laughs> that were brought to the States. And over at TFO Classics, I actually had the chance to compare the old to the new. Didn't get to drive them, but got everything done side by side, interior, exterior, engines, all that cool stuff. And it's such a cool opportunity to see both of them side by side. Uh, this Land Rover, believe it or not, is here at the dealer because someone traded this yellow one in on a brand new rig. Yeah, and you guys may be wondering, how much do these two cost? Well, how much was this when it was new, Tommy? And like I said, this is a rare one because it was actually legally brought in by Land Rover in 95. So how much was this when it was new? These were like 28650 for the soft tops. This one's got a few options like AC, but... And a V8. Well, they all had V8s. Yeah. yeah. Um, so about 29 grand. So um, somebody traded this guy in for this guy. So this is the uh, launch edition of the Defender. And uh, they started about, what, 50K, right? Yeah, like 49.9. Nine, but when you get them all upgraded and adventurified, then you're looking at an $80,000 vehicle because this one has a $4,800 adventure package. Uh, and this one, if you want to buy it here, it's actually for sale. It's how much, Tommy? $65,000. $65, so you've got eighty dollars for the new one, sixty-five dollars for this old one. V8 versus uh, uh, four six cylinder. Yeah, six cylinder, force induction. Yep. Um, yeah, but it's a cool comparison. So be sure to stay tuned to TFL Classic shortly because we'll have that coming up. Yeah, and now we're going to go off road and we're going to the test it off-road we're gonna see how well it does uh, compared to what a 2006 LR3 uh, so over at TFL car we're gonna do a classic TFL adventure race uh, and over at TFL classics Tommy just filmed this old versus new comparison that I can't wait to see which one do you like better Tommy well they're so different I don't know I have to drive the uh, I would love to drive both of them to figure it out but that new one's looking pretty promising yeah hey yeah. what is in this box do you have the key I think I've got the key I was it comes with the adventure package right so huh? so I saw it over here. What what is in that box? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? So it's a storage bin. There's gotta be something. It's just hanging out the side. I'm really curious. What's in the box? is Whatever you want to be in the box. So this is part of the forty eight hundred dollar adventure package, huh? Oh. So you could put things like, uh, well, dirty clothes. That's what I would use it for. I don't no. Want them in, I don't want them in the vehicle. Gross. You'd use this for like, oops, uh, like dog food. No, like recovery gear. Yeah. But no cameras or wine glasses. It's very uh. <laughs> Very clear about that. So, <laughs> does this one also have uh, the onboard air? Yes, yeah, so in the back. Check this out. Yeah, I want to see this. This is our first chance to actually get our hands on one. I'm so excited. Look, it's got uh, it's got the third row under here. Yeah. But it also has a air compressor and a little cable, so I can simply air down or air up. Yeah, hook this up yep. like that, yep. turn it on, grab some air, stick that on the tire, and you're good to go. You know, I have never actually driven this, so this will be my first time driving it. So, guys, be sure to come back to TFL Car, where we uh, take this bad boy off-road uh, in a bit of a race, Tommy. I'm going to kick your butt. I don't think so, but that's coming up next over at TFL Car. And check out tfltruck.com as well, because a lot of fun stuff going on there as well. What's over here? What's this? It's the warning triangle. I get, oh, is it? I gotta always do these things. Oh, yeah, it's oh, just yeah. The, the warning triangle. It is a warning. That's a very European thing. Yep, for sure. All right, thanks All right. for watching. Ciao.